Hey guys, this is Daniel from uh, Daniel's Review, and for this review is the Mezco 112 Collective Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Armor Batman. Um, so I just got this guy in the other day. I bought it from eBay and whatnot, and uh, I couldn't wait uh, four to six weeks for uh, to uh, wait for Mezco to come through. So I decided to get it now. So. Here is the review. I will go over the box and his accessories and the stand and all that whatnot. But here we go. I'm up. I gotta tilt it up a little. But the uh, Batman vs Superman logo up there it says Mezco Toys Exclusive. Has the Batman vs Superman uh, logo. And then. Says Armored Batman and then 112th. Then on the side, it just has the 112th with the Batman vs Superman logo. And it says Batman vs Superman Down of Justice. Then on the back, it has a. Feel focus. Hold on. Has Batman and armor Batman and all kinds of poses, and then it has him like looking up, and it shows grapple gun, and it shows his grenade launcher. Then on the other side is the same, and then and then basically this comes out on the slip cover and then it has like a nice grayish background and then put that down there and then you open this as magnetized and you open it up and then right there the figure would rest I have the figure already out and everything. And then it uh, shows a nice logo of the uh, Ben Affleck uh, Batman logo. I really like that logo. Really do. And that's that. And then on the back it shows a picture of Armored Batman. And that's the hit for the box. And we will get to the figure. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're uh, back with the figure out of the package and all of his accessories and I'll go over all of his accessories and hopefully my camera can pick up these tiny ass um, grenades, but we'll see. First he comes with a metal Zoom out. Zoom out. Out. Okay, so he comes with a uh, kryptonite spear. And it is completely metal. Um, some people are confusing it with uh, die cast, and it's not die cast. It is completely metal. And then he comes with his trusty, whoops, one second. God damn it. So he comes with his grenade launcher. Um, it can go move. Um, the stock on it right here can go out like that and then this I think can either move back or forward oh yeah see this and it can move forward which is nice because then you can put the grenade right in and then this 
can snap together. If I'm doing it on camera. Like. Like so. Then he comes with his grenade launcher, uh, not grenade launcher, grapple, heavy duty grapple gun. And uh, right there, it can come out if you want it to. If I just leave it in. But yeah, it's nicely detailed. I mean, these Masco 112s are pretty much hot toys in a six inch scale. Then it comes with um, this little finger mount jig where it can attach to the grapple gun and then you can unwind it, attach it to something. I'm not going to unwind it, but you guys get the idea. Then he comes with two of these tiny ass grenades. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick up on it. There we go. But yeah. Very nicely detailed. It would have been nice if one of them was open, but you know, it is what it is. Then it comes with um, eight total hands. So it comes with a relaxed left and right. Yeah, relax. And then it comes with a comes with a trigger hand. Nicely detailed. Then it comes with two fisted hands. One fist is already on. Uh, the figure. Here's the other fist. Sorry if you guys aren't seeing it. I need to get a better lens or something for it. Focuses more when I'm zoomed in. I mean, I need to get some better lights or something. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below what kind of lights I should get. I was thinking about the Walmart LED lights, but I'm not sure. And then here is a holding hand. I think this is for uh, to hold the grenade launcher's uh, um, barrel thingy. And then it comes with a more of a gripping hand. This is to hold the spear, I'm sure, of it. But yeah. But yeah guys, that's his accessories, so I will go over the figure. Let's zoom in on the figure and see the details. Oh yeah, and he uh comes with this little baggie. says 112 collective is to keep your accessories in and whatnot so it's really nice that they include that something hot toys or interray does not do so yeah but we'll bring the figure to closer view Okay guys, uh, we are back with the figure and I will give you a close up of the figure and whatnot. And uh, just to give you guys uh, what to look out for, what to not, you know. Um, I forgot to mention, he does come with these uh, cape clips.
But anyways, uh, they attach into the back, and these are like flexible wires, and you can attach them to the uh, cape and whatnot. Um, I personally don't use them because uh, I just don't because uh, armor Batman ain't supposed to be in no flight pose. I mean, he can be in a grapple pose, but whatnot. But uh, yeah. Um, so my only complaint is the cape it's like too big or too heavy something like that and uh the for some reason uh when mesco made this guy or manufactured him uh he has a short neck and if you can see when you have his neck tilted down or more like up you can see a big giant gap right there so I'm not sure if I can fix that or not probably not because I don't know anything about sculpting or epoxy or whatnot so yeah but um it's a minor complaint you know it's still a badass figure um, he does have some pretty good articulation. The only thing that has hindered is like the ab crunch. Um, the knees only go to like a single bend, so like roughly 80 degrees, and the arms go to a single bend, like 80 degrees. So I'll show you. Let's see, about that far, you can get his uh, arms. Same with his legs, because the armor hinders and sometimes so this will pop out but you can just pop it back in and there you go you know but uh, <coughs> yeah guys that is my review of the Mezco But yeah guys, that is my review of the Mezco 112 Collective uh, Armored Batman figure. If you guys have any questions or whatnot, just leave a comment below. Oh, by the way, I uh, I was looking at some movie pictures of Armored Batman and I noticed he has a tiny hole in his cape. And I'm going to be getting a custom cape and uh, his uh, mouth repainted where he has the 5 o'clock shadow. So I'm going to be sending that off pretty soon. I put a tiny hole in his cape and the strap looks much better now so the strap ain't uh, falling off or falling into his neck area so that's pretty nice but yeah guys uh, this is an uh, excellent figure I highly recommend it um, if you have any questions uh, just comment below uh, you can uh, subscribe like dislike um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, the links are in the description below. But until then, uh, uh, keep watching and happy toy hunting.